Hello, students. So let's try to solve one more problem from CSIR NET 2022. And this exam was held in month of September. So this is a very nice problem. The Lagrangian is given where Q1, Q2 and Q3 is generalized coordinate. And uh, we have to just find that uh, how Q1, Q2, Q3 is evolving with the time. So mainly we have to write the Lagrangian equation of motion and after then we have to solve the differential equation. This is the whole idea. But this Lagrangian is very interesting. Here we have half small m q1 dot square q2 dot square plus there is some coupling term of q1 dot and q2 dot with some constant capital M. And the last term is very interesting that is k q1 dot and q3. So we have to just take care of all this thing. So straightforward, let's try to go for a uh, writing equation of motion for Q1. So when we are going for right equation of motion for Q1, D upon DT, del L upon del Q1 dot minus del L upon del Q1 is equal to zero. And from here, we can easily have, and this value is equal to D upon DT, and uh, when we will differentiate with respect to q1 dot then this value is equal to m q1 dot and here the q2 will survive q2 dot will survive so m q2 dot and here this q1 dot will just differentiate it and q3 will survive so here is k q3 is there and this value must be zero and when we are going to differentiate with respect to time hence Q1, Q2, and Q3, all three are dynamical variable. Then this value is equal to M Q1 double dot plus capital M Q2 double dot plus K Q3 dot must be equal to zero. So this is from uh, writing the equation of motion from Q1. So let's try to go for writing the equation of motion for Q2 now. So when we are going to write this thing for Q2, so D upon DT, del L upon del Q2 dot minus del L upon del Q2 must be equal to zero from there. So we have D upon DT and del L upon del Q2 dot. So this will survive. So we have M Q2 dot and from here Q1 dot will survive. So that will be M Q1 dot. And there is not any Q2 term is there. So that value is equal to zero. And from here, we have M Q2 double dot plus M Q1 double dot must be equal to zero. Now let's go for Q3. So when we will go for Q3, then we have D upon DT del L upon del Q3 dot minus del L upon del Q3 is equal to zero. So here it is surprising that there is not any term which is uh, related to Q3 dot. So it's a really weird thing, but obviously we have to just go just like mathematics. So when we have this particular thing, del L upon del Q3, so this term is itself vanished. So del L upon del Q3, here we have minus k q1 dot must be equal to zero. So now we have to solve equation one, equation two, and equation three. So we can easily solve from here k q1 dot is equal to zero. So from here q1 must be some constant c1. So q1 have to be constant. And uh, when we will go for, uh, when we will just try to put this q1 into this equation, then from here we can have m q2 double dot must be equal to zero. So from here we can write q2 is equal to, let's say c2t plus c3. So this is varying linearly. So this is just going to vary linearly. Now we have in this particular equation, now we can see Q1 double dot is zero, Q2 double dot is zero. And from here we can have Q2 
थ्री डॉट इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो अगेन वी कैन राइट क्यू थ्री इज इक्वल टू सम कॉन्स्टेंट सी फोर सो हियर वी कैन सी क्यू वन एंड क्यू थ्री इज जस्ट अ कॉन्स्टेंट एंड क्यू टू इज जस्ट बिहेविंग लीनियरली विद द टाइम सो यू कैन जस्ट सी हियर सो क्यू टी क्यू टू इज जस्ट वेरिंग लीनियरली विद द टाइम and these all are very simple differential equation so it's a very interesting problem because uh, you have to do this calculation carefully and you have to just give the answer uh, in a very nice way but the most important thing from my point of view is that if q3 generalized coordinate then how it is not a function of q3 dot so this is some i think uh, confusion is there but anyway if we will just go for mathematically then obviously this is the correct uh, one so i think option number a is the correct option or first option is the correct option the mainly two are the whatever with the option the two coordinate q1 and q3 is constant so q1 and q3 is constant and q2 is linear with in time so this is your option thank you